Hello, everybody. You join me at Penguin Island, which, as you can see, is home to our colony of penguins. Now, we've got 29 in this group, and these are Humboldt penguins, which we also refer to as Peruvian penguins occasionally, too. So that yeah. might give you a little clue as to where these penguins would live in the wild, because when we tend to think of penguins, we think of, well, Antarctica, and I can't see any ice or icebergs or snow in this enclosure whatsoever. So these penguins live along the coast of South America, and they do really well living there. They're really clever at swimming. So I've got a couple just swimming just down here. Let me see if I can show you them. Here we are. Let's swimming around. Oh, hello. Lovely, lovely. So really good at swimming. Now that swimming is really important because this animal is known as a carnivore. So it eats other animals. Now what do you think these penguins are going to be looking for in the wild to eat if they're swimming lots? Hmm, fish. That's right, so they'll eat fish, they might catch the odd occasional squid, maybe even a crab if they're near the beach as well. Now they've got to be careful though because swimming around in the ocean with these penguins are going to be marine predators, other animals which want to eat them. These guys are really clever. So you'll notice they have these lovely black backs which is really helping them to hide in the water, to blend into those surroundings. So if you were a shark and swim over the top and look down, well, you might not see them. If you were perhaps to swim underneath them and see those lovely white tummies, well, that's going to help to blend you in with the sunshine and the shallower waters at the top of the ocean. That's a really clever form of knowing of uh, camouflage and it's counter shading, which gives our penguins a really good way of hiding from those predators and sneaking up on their prey. Can you put any comments below on any other animals you can think of that have really clever camouflage? Maybe other ones that have counter shading. I would suggest you might want to look at some of their predators. That might give you a little clue. Right, I'm going to go back and look after all the rest of the animals and I'll see you guys soon. Bye bye for now.